Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with USL Dunkirk in League 2 in France. Since the last episode we've played, what, probably about 5 or 6 more games and it's still going quite well for us. We have lost a couple, we've drawn a game as well, our first game in the season and we have progressed a little bit further in the Coupe de la Ligue. I think that's what it's called. Straight after the Clermont Foot game we went and played Troyes where we end up losing this game 1-0. Kevin Fortune with a goal on nine minutes. We just weren't very good in this one, and this is what I thought was going to happen in the majority of games. We were just going to not play badly, just not play very well, basically. We end up losing our third game of the season here. And that was followed up by our fourth defeat of the season against, I believe, local rivals Lille. We were at home for this one, it was a 3-1 defeat, Yassine Benzio with two goals, one from the penalty spot, Anwar El Ghazi as well that scores for Lille, Sambu Sissoko scores an absolute screamer on 57 minutes for us, but it wasn't enough for us to get anything out of this game. There are some very strange players playing for Lille, James McLean, he's here, been here a couple of seasons apparently, and so has Carl Jenkinson. Both players have joined permanently. I don't understand why, but yeah, there's there's some English players dotted around in French competitions at the moment. Apart from James McLean, who's Irish. Idiot. Moving in to October, we returned to winning ways in an emphatic victory against Brest. It was 4-0. Bouba Casilla, Andy Faustin with two goals, one from the penalty spot. And Alan Viral also getting on the score sheet. We were 4-0 up at half-time, so the second half... We just clearly didn't try. We probably should have won by a lot more goals as well in this one, but this is the start of a very special month, and I'll show you why. Because up next, we win again, this time against Nancy away from home. It was a 3-0 victory. Gideon Waha, Alan Virat, and Jovani Chouacha this time around. So far, two games in October, seven goals scored, zero conceded. Up next was a 2-2 draw against Le Havre. Patrick Vieira's Le Havre side. Gideon Waha and Jovani Chouacha with the goals for us. Istvan Fulop and Harold Mukawodi with the goals for Le Havre. It is two more goals in the bank, so this now puts us on seven goals in three games in October. Two conceded now, but like I said, it's been a very good month for us. Because we booked ourselves a fourth round match in the Coupe de la Ligue against Ligue 1 side Amines, and we destroyed them. 4-0 it was in this one. Faustin, Waha with two, and Rodrigue Ella also getting on the score sheet as well. We don't know who we're going to be playing in the fourth round because the fourth round is actually going to take place right at the end of the first part of the season. It actually takes place sort of 16th of December, something like that. But four more goals scored away from home as well. Basically, we managed to win three games away from home in a row, 4-0, 3-0 and 4-0, and we didn't concede a single goal in any of them. So those results mean that we are up in sixth place still. We are still up in the right end of the table, and I'm still holding out for my 40 goal, 40 goal, 40 points target, which we're now only 15 points away from. If we get that, I am going to be extremely happy because basically, we just need to stay in this league. If we get relegated, we are screwed. If we hit 40 points, we shouldn't get relegated in theory. If we go up, we're probably screwed again because we are not in any situation to be able to deal with uh, the big teams, the Monacos, the PSGs, the teams like that in League One. So uh, yeah, hopefully, let's finish sixth. Maybe let's get a little bit of a playoff going, but not actually get promoted. Maybe that's what we want to do. First game of the episode then, and it should be... A fairly simple one this time, up against Tours, a team who, I don't think they came up with us? What happened? How did Tours get promoted? No, they did, they came up through the playoffs, didn't they? Yes, they finished third in the league, came up through the playoffs last season with us. They are not doing anywhere near as well as we are, but hopefully we should be able to nice and comfortably get past these. But you know how Football Manager is, we might lose this one 3-0. The starting lineup then for the Tours game. In goal is going to be Dylan Silva. Silva has played the last couple of games. I'm slowly easing him in to be our number one goalkeeper. Alexis Kalant comes in for the suspended Bubakar Silla. Rodrigue Ella and Jeremy Heisman are going to be the two central defenders. Ella, much like Silva, I've been slowly, slowly but surely moving him into the first team. He's got an average rating of a 7.77 and one goal to his name over the last few games. So, I think so far he's doing quite well. Jovani Chiracha is going to be our left-back, who has started to become a club legend. He's now finally on the list of uh, club... I, I'm not sure what he is. 
He's a favoured personnel with Dimitri Budad. You can see there as well, Bubikar Silla is now an icon as well. Jovani Chiracha literally just joined this list after the last match. Back to the starting 11 then, Hebert will be the defence midfielder, Sambu Sissoko will be the Carolero, the box-to-box -box midfielder will be Teddy Buriad. Buriad has come in because Gideon Waha has picked up a suspension, he's also slightly injured as well, but the suspension means he's never going to play anyway. Edgaras Utkas is going to be the attacking midfielder. This position here, I'm really struggling to get a little bit of consistency. Utkas, Fekir and Wallace... I was hoping having lots of good players that can play in that position might actually cause them to play really well because they're worried about losing their position. They're all playing pretty average. You can see Utkas 6.79 average rating, Fekir 6.68, Wallace 6.95. Nobody's really standing out. Wallace, arguably, probably the better one. I have promised Utkas and Fekir uh, they're going to be playing some first-team football, so I need to rotate them a little bit somehow. The strike force will be Alan Varau and Andy Faustin. On the bench, we do have Lucas Toussaint, Maraval as well. I don't know why I missed him out first time. Traore, Fekir, Torre, Voisin and Wallace. We've only got one recognised striker on the bench and he's not really a full striker and that is Yassin Fekir. Hopefully, we don't need to do any striker subs. I'm changing my mind. We're going to bring off Bavoy Traore and we're going to pick, put on Kalen Demessi. Demessi's back. He's played a couple of games. He's not doing too great at the moment. Like I said earlier, Tours came up with us, so Tours should be... This is, this is a, a, a third division match, really, right now, but we're a much, much better side, so hopefully we can easily walk past Tours in this one. Nine minutes on the clock, Chuacha to Faustin. Faustin plays it across, Hebert loads of space, forward to Buriad, Sissoko, Hebert again. The three midfielders passing it around, Sissoko, Hebert across, finds Alexis Kalant with a bit of space, crosses in, Viral is there, he goes for goal, it wasn't a very good header. Is that the whole highlight, or are we going to see something more from Tours? Long ball upfield over the top, route one football, and Tours almost take the lead, Dylan Silva makes the save. We are going to see the corner though. Bayard is going to take it number seven towards the front post. Cleared. Filippi. This man. Barthelemy. Maybe. Glombard's going to get the ball. He was offside. Good. 16 minutes now on the clock. Barthelemy to fall on the left. Crosses in. It's taken a deflection. Aya now with the ball. Crosses in. Barthelemy's there again. And what a save. Double save. Triple save from Dylan Silva. That is why he's my number one goalkeeper, or will be my number one goalkeeper. Philippi with a ball now. This man's name, not even going to try. Great tackle from Jovani Chiracha, and that will hopefully end the highlight. I did think this was going to be one of those games where, on paper, we should destroy them, and we're not going to. The last three away matches, we've battered teams. So, if we go by form, we should batter these as well. But at the moment, Tours are probably the better side. Utkus. To Sissoko, inside his own half, Hebert back to Heisman. We are going backwards, not forwards at the moment. Chuacha now on the left-hand side. The fullback runs forward to Alan Varau into the area, straight at the goalkeeper, but Faustin is there at the back. His 11th goal of the season, a real poacher's goal, that one. 34 minutes on the clock. We are now in front, probably undeservedly against Tours, but I don't care. I will take it. And that goal moves us up into second place because lots of other teams aren't playing today. Half time then, and the Andy Faustin goal is the only difference. We are doing a lot better possession-wise. We are not doing so well when it comes to shots and scoring goals. Goal kick for Silva. First action of the second half, and it's taken just four minutes to get here. Ella to Sissoko. He's got Kalant on the right. Utkas back to Sissoko. Now finds Kalant on the halfway line. Long ball upfield. Andy Faustin into the penalty area. Can he make it two? The keeper tips it onto the post, and Tours can clear their line. Bayard's ball upfield. Is that the end of the highlight? Heisman heads forward. Aya heads back towards Heisman, who controls the ball and now has some time. Long ball upfield. Finds Viral. Controls it into the area. Viral straight at the keeper again. He is going to have to come off. Viral has done that way too many times in this game. Kalant's throw towards Viral. Doesn't get it. Kalant crosses it in this time. Basic clears. Only as far as Kalant again. Buriad. Teddy Buriad with the ball. Sissoko finds Jovani Chuacha into the area. Where are you going to go? Backwards to Teddy Buriad. Across, Hebert, Sissoko, Kalant, a bit of space for the fullback, goes for goal, hits it wide off the post. Right, Varel is coming off for Kalen de Messi. Do I swap you two over? No, I definitely don't because de Messi is a natural poacher on attack. I think if de Messi was playing from the start of this game and he was getting in the position that Varel was getting in, probably would have scored a couple of goals. A few more minutes have passed. Utkas is off. Wallace is coming on. This is what I mean. The, the attack midfield position 
Nobody really wants to play there. Everyone who plays there just doesn't play very well. I don't know whether it's a language thing, because only Fekir can actually speak French. I don't understand. 76 minutes on the clock, Kalant to Wallace. Little back flick to find Hebert, Elenau, Rodrigue Ella across to Heisman. Plays it to the left-hand side, Jovani Chouacha runs forward with the ball. Stops, plays it back to Buriad. Wallace, Wallace to Kalant in the area again. De Messi with the ball, and De Messi puts it into the bottom corner. His second goal of the season, his second goal in Dunkirk colours. We are now 2 0 up against Tours. Let's get a third. Let's make it 3 0. Let's make it 4. Seven minutes left to play of the match. Jabby with the ball, finds Basic all the way across to Barthelemy. Can run forward with the ball, across to fall. A little bit of space if he can get past Kalant. Crosses in early. It's ahead. It is over the bar. That was a half-decent chance from, from Tours there. Kind of glad that they didn't get anything from it. Final few minutes. We're going to bring on Fekir for, uh, for uh, Faustin. That's his name. We're going to move him over to be a poacher, because I think he'll probably be better as a poacher. Just, I basically just want to get him in the first team because hopefully he kind of realises, or well, at least I'm playing occasionally, even if it is for two and a half minutes and we don't actually see him kick the ball at all. This is going to be the final highlight of the game. We are going to be 2 nil victors against Tours in Ligue 2 and we are going to move up to second place in the table. The next match, I know we've not even finished this one yet, but the next match might be a little bit more of a challenge than this one. I will take the 2-0 victory against Tours away from home. That is not a terrible result. I would have liked more goals. I think I might be getting a little bit greedy. So League 2 then looks like this, although I suspect on the Saturday, yep, on the Saturday is when the rest of the games are going to be playing. Also, all the Monday as well, Auxerre versus Lille. That is going to be a big game, 5th and 6th. Sosho and Le Havre, what's going on? Sosho playing Grenoble. Sosho should probably win that. Uh, Le Havre, who are Le Havre playing? They're playing Brest. They should probably win that as well. So we might be back down to 5th uh, or 6th by the end of the weekend. Before the week is out, we have managed to win Player of the Month, I assume. Jovani Chouacha wins Trophy UNFP Canal Plus L'Equipe de Joueurs de Moi. I'm going to go with... I don't speak French. Not I speak a little bit of French. Not enough to actually have a conversation with anyone. Anyway... I'm going with that's player of the month. So, congratulations, Jovani Chouacha. I mean, I guess I can probably tell him congratulations. What's he going to say? Thanks, boss. I really appreciate it. I've worked hard this month. Yes, you have, Jovani. The weekend fixtures have all been played, and it's actually turned out not too bad for us. We've only dropped down to third place because Auxerre managed to beat Lille, which means they are now one point ahead of us. So, the other teams in and around us, Le Havre drawing 1-1 with Brest, that is pretty bad. Who else is up there? Sosho losing to Grenoble Foot. That is pretty bad as well. Uh, Clermont Foot, I think, played the day before, and I think they won. Yes, they did. They played against Metz, and they managed to beat Metz. So, actually, all in all, not been a terrible weekend. The only thing that would have been better is if this one against Auxerre versus Lille, if that was a draw. Up next, then, it's going to be a very tough match against Sosho Montbelliard a team that I believe, by the looks of it, have only just been relegated from Ligue 1. So, this is not going to be an easy match next. Here we go then, third versus fifth. One thing I've spotted with this league, or particularly this season at the moment, it is extremely close. The top nine, six points separate the top nine. Um, if you take out Troyes, it is, what is that, four points separate Nancy through to Auxerre. I mean, that is pretty ridiculous. The top seven is just three points. A defeat could move you from top of the table all the way down to seventh place if results go the wrong way for you. So we need to just keep winning, and this is definitely a match where we really need to try and get a result. At the very least, get a draw. The starting lineup then will be Axel Maraval in goal because, if we scroll down here a little bit, Dylan Silva... He's, uh, he's uh, pulled an abdominal muscle, so he's out for 5 to 11 days. So, unfortunately, we are not going to see Dylan today. Buba Casilla, Rodrigue Ella, Jeremy Hoisman and Jovani Chouacha will be the back four. And that will probably be our back four for the majority of the season. Toussaint and Hoisman might start to rotate as the season goes on. But at the moment, that is our back four. Baboy Traore will come in for the suspended Hebert. Gideon Waha returns from his injury to the starting eleven with Sambu Sissoko also keeping his place. Yassine Fekir is going to be the advanced playmaker today. Wallace this time has picked up an injury, and I think his isn't as good. So he's out for five weeks with a sports hernia. That's quite a big deal for us. 
We do have two more attacking midfielders, but Wallace was probably our best one there at the moment. Alan Varel and Andy Faustin will be the two strikers, although, actually, no, they won't. We're going to drop Varel. We're going to put in the poacher of Kalen de Messi after the goal that he scored in the last match. Right, I think that's our squad. Sosho are going to be a very, very good team. Jindo Fuchs, I think, is probably how you say his name. It's not how it's uh, how you want to say it, I don't think. He is very, very good. He's still at Sosho as well, which I think is, is quite impressive for the fact they've managed to keep hold of him. They've got Fonsinho as well, an Ivorian. Looks very, very good. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Are you going to be wearing your hat all game or just for the picture at the start? Hopefully, with having Gideon Waha back, he continues his great form of... It was him and Sissoko both scoring really good goals. Like, every other game, one of them would score an absolute screamer. So, hopefully, they can do the same now that they're back in the starting lineup together. Barragan with the ball for Sasho. Knudsen goes for goal, hits the post. Fonsinho forces a save out of Maraval. It is going to be a corner seven and a half minutes in... This man's name plays it all the way back to Brockman. Goes for goal. Hits one of his own players. The corner taker again has a go. Now Fekir can hopefully run onto that. He gives up. He literally gave up running. We're 20 minutes in. We've not had a single shot. We've had 29% possession. Rodrigue Ella with the ball forward to Sissoko. Holds up the play. Plays it all the way back to Maraval, who is outside of his penalty area. Heisman back to Maraval again. Long ball forward to Rodrigue Ella. Heisman, we're just passing it around. We're going to lose the ball. And Sosho are going to score any second now. Maraval plays it across to Bubakar Silla. Now Silla, ball forward. Kalen Damasi runs onto it in towards the goal. Forces a very quick questionable save out of the goalkeeper but we finally had an effort on target five minutes to play of the first half we're starting to get back into it but not really convincingly is it we've had four shots four on target but they have had a lot of the ball but it's looking like it's going to be one nil one one so it's not it's nil nil it's definitely nil nil at half time at least we've had a chance and it wasn't it wasn't terrible no subs at half time although faustin is on a 6.4 so he might be coming off Faustin and Fekir on a 6.4 and Demessi's on a 6.5. Heisman with the ball. We are four minutes into the second half and Waha, good header forward from the little man. Demessi across to Bubakar Silla, runs forward with the ball across to Chuacha. What a volley that was by the fullback. Cross to Bubakar Silla, straight at the goalkeeper. We do win a corner. That would have been a great time to score a goal there. Chuacha now with the corner towards the penalty spot. It's cleared. Sissoko back to the corner taker, Jovani Chuacha. Little bit of space, tries to cross it in with his wrong foot, wins another corner. Chuacha's corner, where is it going to go? It's deep this time, it's gone all the way through. Traore is going to get the ball, plays it back to the central defender Heisman. Traore and Heisman passing it around, but that is all we're going to see. Fekir's dropped down to a 6.3, so he's coming off. Kalen, Demessi and Faustin both playing badly. We're going to do Demessi for Viral, because those two, I thought they had a little connection. Apparently they don't. Okay, well, we're going to bring on Viral anyway, because I imagine Viral and Faustin, really good friends, possibly. Throw on for Sosho just after the subs have taken place. Barragan, Jindo folks on the volley and what a finish that was. His second of the season. To be fair, I think if we're going to lose to a goal, I'd rather it be something like that than a goal mouth scramble or a cock up from one of our players. And this is what I mean by the league is so close. We've dropped down to sixth place because of conceding one goal. And we're still within two points of top of the table. If we win our next match, we could go back to the top of the league. This is just ridiculous. Maraval with a goal kick to Heisman. Heisman back to Maraval. Sosho pushing forward very high up the pitch. Oh, it's going to be two, isn't it? It's definitely two. Abdullah Sane with the goal. And it's it's not unexpected. I mean, we have, we have to lose some games. And I guess against the better sides are probably the games that we should be losing more often than not. So, uh... Looks like we're getting nothing out of this one. I'm going to give him a demand more. Sissoko is on a yellow card and possibly going to get himself sent off. Sosho coming forward with a ball. Nudson all the way across to Regulon. Regu Regulion, maybe. Into the middle and Brockman goes for goal and it is over the bar. I think it hit the bar. Ten minutes to play. Silla to Viral. Back to Utkas. Silla once again crosses in. Faustin is there. Can't win the ball though. Viral. Back to Bubakar Silla, crosses in, Faustin at the back, hits the bar, it's cleared. Chuacha controls it, but we're not going to see anything more. 
Last minute corner for us, Sissoko. I say last minute, there's still four minutes to play. Sissoko with the ball back to Bubakar Silla. Silla is basically the one player who seems to be getting involved a hell of a lot. Rodrigue Ella is going to get tackled, isn't he? And we're going to concede a goal. Maraval now with the ball. The goalkeeper runs forward, plays it all the way across to Giovanni Chiracha. Runs forward. Long, long ball across to Bubakar Silla. Two in the box if he can find any one of them. Viral is there. He's hit the post. And... Sosho have cleared their lines. Now, Fonsinho can run down the left-hand side. Plays it forward. Heisman's going to get there first. Good. There's another highlight straight away. The last five minutes of this game look a little bit hectic. And it's possibly going to be 3-0. It's a slide tackle. It's going to be a corner. Rodrigue Ella with a superb tackle. The corner, though, for Sosho. Brockman, who I think is their striker, takes the corner. And Maraval claims the ball after it comes back off the post. So defensively, I don't think we've played too badly. This match has been a problem with our strikers. We've got 40 seconds left to play, so nothing is going to come from this final highlight, or if it does, not going to make a single bit of difference. But yeah, I think we've done, like defensively, we've done all right today. It's our strikers and our attacking midfielders that haven't been very good. And I'm wondering whether if we're going to be missing Wallace for five weeks, that could be a huge concern because he might be one of those players that he assists the assister which possibly doesn't get a lot of like credit for it. Full time then at Stad Marcel Tribut. It is a 2-0 victory for Sochaux Montbelliard. And I think it's probably well earned for them. So in the space of one match, we've dropped down from 3rd to 7th. And like I said, this league is extremely, extremely close. Another victory will be on 31 points and we could potentially be up into second place. Orcs there winning their game means that they, they are top of the table but only two points clear of second place Sosho. Also, it looks like Nancy has to play Valenciennes but Nancy, all they can do is go joint on points with us and unless they win about 9-0, I think that is, they won't go ahead of us. That is going to do it then for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go through to the Chateau Roux and Laval games. We do have the Coupe de la Ligue fourth round in here. I don't know who that is. If that is a big team, which it may well be, we might just do the Coupe de la Ligue and Laval. If it's a smaller team or a team that's, less, let's face it, a team that's not particularly interesting, we'll do the two league games because that is where our main focus is. So... That is going to do it then for this episode. A final look at the league table then. Seventh place after 15 games, 28 points, just 12 away from our target of 40. And we will be staying in this season, in this season, in this league for another season. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back next time for the matches just before Christmas.